Sanbonan, my name is Andy Swa, a UCT medical student, and welcome to my new series called MBCHB Explained. In this series, I'm going to be explaining to you the medical degree in simple terms. On today's episode, we're going to be talking about how to become a doctor in South Africa. Please click the like button if you're interested in the topic and don't forget to subscribe. So in order for you to be a doctor in South Africa, you have to obtain the MPCHB degree, which is an undergraduate level bachelor's degree. The MPCHB stands for Bachelor of Medicine and Bachelor's of Surgery. So it is a two in one degree. So the duration of the degree is six years in all universities in South Africa, except the universities of Free State, which offers the degree in five years. So the six years are divided into the first three years, which are called the preclinical years, where you learn to think and reason clinically. And the last three years are clinical years where you learn your clinical skills. So let me give you a quick breakdown of what you study during each year. I am going to be giving you the UCT program as an example. So in first year, you study physics chemistry, languages, which is Afrikaans and is a closer because UCT is located in the Western Cape and those two languages are the languages that are predominantly spoken. You also study the basic human biology and biochemistry. At UCT, they also offer these courses called becoming a professional and becoming a health professional in first year in order to sharpen your professional skills. Moving on to the second year curriculum. This one is divided into cases. Each case represents each organ system or a certain disease. For example, there's a cardiovascular case, there's a renal system case, a respiratory system case, a GIT case, HIV case, female reproductive system, male reproductive system. So you get to study one case for a period of weeks. And in that case, you get to study physiology, anatomy, histology, medical virology, medical microbiology, pharmacology, biochemistry, pathology, etc. Moving on to third year. In the first semester, you study neurology, which is divided into neuroanatomy, neurophysiology, and neuropathology. And the end of first semester, third year, is the end of your preclinical years. Now moving on to the second semester of third year, which is the beginning of clinical years. This is when you start studying in blocks. So as a class, you are divided into small groups and you get to rotate according to all the blocks you're supposed to do. So the blocks that are offered in third year UCT are mental health, which is like an introduction to psychiatry, adult health, which is an introduction to internal medicine, women's health, which is like an introduction to obstetrics, perinatal health, and clinical skills. Now moving on to fourth year. This is when you study most of the medicine blocks, which is the Bachelor of Medicine side of the degree. So the blocks offered at UCT in fourth year are pharmacology, also known as therapeutics, psychiatry, internal medicine, acute care, which is also known as emergency care, MBU care, anesthesia, obstetrics, neonatology, child health, and health in context, which is more or less public health. Moving on to fifth year, where they offer the surgical blocks, which is the Bachelor of Surgery part of the degree. So in fifth year, you get to study gynecology, urology, pediatrics, including pediatric surgery, trauma and orthopedic surgery, rheumatology, ophthalmology, general surgery, dermatology and ENT, neurology and neurosurgery. Moving on to the final year, which is the sixth year. The sixth year is a mixture of the medicine blocks and the surgery blocks. This is where you get to polish all your clinical skills that you've learned in fourth year or fifth year. Most of the blocks that you're going to be doing in sixth year are blocks that you've done in fourth year and fifth year which are internal medicine, family medicine, acute care and MBU care, obstetrics, psychiatry, forensic medicine and anesthesia, pediatrics, neonatology, and general surgery. After finishing the six years, you'll obtain the MPCHB degree and you will now be a qualified doctor. After finishing the MPCHB degree, you are required to do two years of internship. 
So while you are doing your final year in medicine, you are going to be placed at a hospital around South Africa where you are going to be doing your two years of internship. When you are an intern, you are a full qualified doctor and you work under supervision, sometimes not. But you can give diagnosis and prescribe medication. After finishing your internship, you are required to do your community service. After finishing your ComServe, that is when you can decide whether to open your private practice, go work at a private hospital or specialize. So where can you obtain your MBCHP degree? In South Africa, there are 10 medical schools. Starting with the Western Cape, we have the University of Cape Town, which is located in Observatory, with their teaching hospital being Hrote Skill Hospital. Secondly, we have Stellenbosch University with their medical campus located in Belleville and their teaching hospital being Tigerberg Hospital. Moving on to the Eastern Cape. First, we have Walter Sisul University and their teaching hospital being Nelson Mandela Hospital. The second university is Nelson Mandela University, which is located in Kabecha. Moving on to Guazulu Natal, we have University of Guazulu Natal, which is located in Durban, with their teaching hospital being King Edward VIII Hospital. And in the Free State Province, we have University of Free State, which is located in Bloemfontein, and their academic hospital being Belenomi Hospital. Moving on to the Gauteng Province, which has the most medical schools, the first one being Bits with their teaching hospital being the Krizani Barambonath Hospital, which is the biggest hospital in Africa and the third largest hospital in the world. They also have the University of Pretoria, which is located in Pretoria, with their teaching hospital being Steve Biko Academic Hospital. Their third and last medical school is Sifako Mahato, previously known as Medusa, and their teaching hospital is Dr. George Mukari Academic Hospital. And moving on to the last province is Limpopo, where we have University of Limpopo, which is located in Bulugwane, and their teaching hospital being Mangueng Hospital. So we've come to the end of our first episode. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to click the like button. On our next episode, we are going to be talking about the requirements to study medicine in detail. So make sure that you've subscribed and you've turned all your notifications on so that you do not miss any videos in this series. That is it for today. Bye for now. Catch you on the next episode.